This technique of monotype printing is tracing. First, you're going to start by inking up your plate. To do that, you want to put a small amount of ink onto the piece of laminate and roll it out till it's nice and smooth. You can also do this with multiple colors, depending on how you want to start. In this case, I'm using two different shades of green to create my plate. My next step is to lay the piece of paper on top. Do not put any pressure on it or else it will pick up whatever ink is below. I put my photograph on top and then I use a pencil to start tracing my image. As I trace my lines, the ink below transfers onto the clean sheet of paper and that is how I make my print. You can trace with other things too, such as your finger for larger areas or the back of a spoon. Or even other tools, such as a fork to create specific texture, like the grass. One of the great things about monotype printing is the ability to experiment. 
you can use all sorts of different ways to manipulate and many different layers to create your final image. The best way to ensure all the different parts come together is to use a light box to layer the different areas together. So take your photograph and lay it on top of your image and then you can see that your lines are matching up. You could also cut up sections of bad prints to use them for masking. So for example, in this one, I'm filling in the greenery area, but I don't want any of that green to go onto the person. So what I'm going to do after I've finished building some texture into my ink is that I'm going to place a section of paper that I've cut out that's just the body to cover the person. You can also use color in a very controlled way such as placing sections of color onto your plates in only particular areas so that when you trace over, not too many sections get covered with the new color of ink. So in this case, I'm using gold just to create the dandelions that I want in the image. You don't have to trace. You can also just draw directly onto the back of your paper. By doing so, that will trace your image onto the other side. All printmaking techniques allow you to pull a ghost image which is the residual image left on the plates. You do this at the end, and in this case, you can see I've been left with multiple images coming through. 